Trump registered for the draft after he graduated from the New York Military Academy. He received four education deferments while he was at Fordham and Wharton. I had deferments because of uh, college, like a lot of people did. Uh, numerous deferments because of uh, because of college, and uh, I had a foot thing, and I get I had deferment for that. Despite the fact Trump had been active in various sports, he's also um, you know discussed the bone spurs you know at, at various times, discussed them as being a very minor issue. You know when you look at him at 22 years old, he was very athletic. He was somebody who you know played multiple sports as a, as a young man, um, and so you know the history of those bone spurs questions about which foot and things like that that that's come up and kind of been one of those things that have that have sort of followed him as part of this story over the last few years. You know, to sit there and mock my husband for not being with me on the presidential trail because he is deployed and serving our country. You mock one veteran, you're mocking all veterans. But this is a pattern, Dana. He's done this over and over again. Whether he went and calls military members suckers, whether he was at Arlington Cemetery saying what was in it for them, why would they do this? The problem with Trump is he's never been anywhere near a uniform. He apparently had um, some sort of foot reason that he says he couldn't do that. These men and women sacrifice for us every day. They're willing to shed blood. That's the values that made this country great. And anybody that excuses what he continues to say against the military is hugely mistaken because this is going to be the president of the United States. We have to start doing more to help our veterans. They don't get the due they deserve. They don't get taken care of. We've got to start watching out for them. You can't do that if you've got a commander in chief that disrespects them. Those are fighting words for the military. In South Carolina, we love our military. We fight hard for them. We want to make their lives better. We don't mock them. And what he did is just disgusting. And anybody that agrees with it or says it's okay is disgusting along with them.